Hi everyone, my name is Vivek. I am the founder of Learn Ready Fashion Platform. I have taught more than 3,000 students from 10 plus countries. So I very well know that which are the best 3D software and what you should start learning with. So let me quickly give you an idea that there are multiple softwares, right, for learning 3D fashion. And let me quickly give you a data analysis of which software you should start learning or which one software you should start learning with, okay? So let's quickly jump into first is Google Trends. This is a, like, you can also go to Google Trends and you can find this, okay? So in Google Trends, if you can see right after COVID, like everything was very flat, right? Uh, by the way, Clo was gaining a little bit of popularity at that time. But right now, the Clo has huge interest, right? One thing that uh, is a little weird for me is uh, Browseware, right? Because I think Browseware is a pretty uh, good software. Um, like the interest over time is very con like very constant, right? So, uh, so here I think if you are looking in terms of Google, right, trends at interest, I think Low 3D is definitely winning the race. Also, I think we need to understand that whenever we are learning a new software, okay, so all these software, these are a part of our ecosystem, right? The more and more people adopt it, the more like the network effect comes into play, okay? So you always need to remember that uh, when you are learning any software, understand the ecosystem, understand there is industry, there are people, it's like that, right? So if more and more people know Clo3D, the industry is going to adopt Clo3D even if they like to protect, right? So that's how it's going to happen. And it, sometimes it can go reverse also, okay? Uh, second is social activity report. Uh, I have taken Instagram for this. So let's see, right? How many people are posting about Clo3D? So there are 199,000 people who are posting, right? Th these are the number of posts, right? That you will find about Clo3D. But if you look for Browseware, it's 6,000, very less. So you understand like, like the, the huge difference, right? Like it's a huge difference how many people are writing Flow 3D versus Browseware. Then it's Style 3D, it's 5, then it's Optitex and Tukartek. So again, I think there are more and more people who are working on Flow 3D who are doing the work and who are posting constantly about Flow 3D. Now, the next is Google Search Report through Google, Google Keyword Planner. So here also you will see that Flow 3D has a huge advantage of 20,000, 12,000 searches. Uh, I have taken the data uh, from 10 countries, okay? Uh, different, uh, like Asia, Euro, US, um, Australia, different, different places, okay? Uh, now, uh, if you see browse where it's only 3,000, it's like really low, right? Very low numbers, okay? Also, I think that it's not enough that how many people are adopting. Uh, it's also important that how industry is responding towards it, right? Uh, is there is an adoption in industry or not? So I think there's a clear... These are the three job listings that I'm showing you right now here. But I have gone through hundreds of uh, jobs, okay? Through LinkedIn and Indeed and other platforms, okay? So I think one uh, which I see is like, even if you know Clo or Browseware, companies are going to give you preference, okay? So for example, uh, you will see that everywhere it's written Clo 3D or Browseware, Clo 3D or Browseware. But most, I'll still say that Clo 3D, uh, is the kind of a prominent one, but you will also find equivalent way of Browseway. If you understand Browseway, you will get that. Okay. So I think Browseway is also doing a good job in this segment. Uh, one more thing, right, guys, you need to understand like 3D people are adopting uh, for better design communication, right? So even if you're doing Browseware or you're doing Pro3D, that's perfectly fine, right? Uh, doesn't really matter. So the next is, uh, well, like, even if you'll see in this uh, Victoria's Secret, right, you will see that Glow 3D or Browseware, right? So this is interesting in that sense, okay? So even if you know Glow 3D Browseware, perfectly fine. But I want to show you here that like the big brands are also adopting Glow 3D and Browseware and this trend will keep increasing, okay? This is not going anywhere. So on the very personal note, I think, um, I think you should start learning with Glow 3D. I'll tell you why, because Clo 3D is very beginner friendly. Okay, so if you're starting, you're very new to 3D fashion, then you should start learning with Clo 3D. Uh, Browseware, I find it very difficult for beginners to follow and to work. Also, because there is a lack of community there, right? So sometimes the problems are like there is no one to help you solve the problem, right? So those are the two 
I think limitations that I'll tell you also. Uh, like everywhere I find Clo is getting adopted in a very uh, like huge way, right? So I think on a point or on a standpoint of the market adoption, right, you should be focused on Clo 3D first, and then you can start learning Clo uh, browser. One last thing, okay. Uh, these software, these are tools, okay, to achieve whatever you want to. Okay, so please don't like just see them as a tool, okay. So you can always keep changing the tools to achieve the same objectives, okay? So therefore, understanding concepts are way much more important than understanding the tools. Tools, like, for example, if you understand Clo, you will easily understand browser. Not a problem at all. But let me give you quickly a glimpse about what 3D fashion structure looks like, okay? I have made a very detailed video about this uh, and I'll link it to the description. But just let's quickly define it. What are the concepts that you need to focus, okay? So mo there are five stages to 3D fashion and I keep repeating it because it's so important, okay? So first is modeling, second is finishing, third is texturing, fourth is rendering and fifth is animation. So these are the five different stages of 3D fashion. Modeling is about taking a basic shape and converting that basic shape into a desired shape via using the principle of pattern making. So therefore, if you're using any software, it becomes highly important that you understand the process of garment construction how the garments are constructed, how different kinds of garments are constructed, and then understanding the techniques of pattern making. So these two becomes very important, right? After this, you basically have finishing, texturing, rendering, and animation. Finishing is about adding seams, adding trims, all the things that makes your garment look realistic. Texturing is about understanding fabrics in detail. How do you create all those fabrics? Uh, in fashion, fabric changes very quickly, right? So you need a third-party software to create fabrics quickly. Uh, Clo is not really at all great in creating textures. Fourth is rendering. How do you need to get lights, camera, and do a photo shoot, right? So that's rendering and animation is how to add life to your garment. So these are all the different stages, okay? And last, uh, uh, I want to ask you that Whatever you decide, okay, if you have decided to go forward with this, keep the structure in your mind, start learning right now. I think 3D and AI, these are the two very most important technologies that are going to shape the fashion industry for the future. And at least you should start participating in that process, okay? So that it's, if it's uh, like if you're working for three, four, five, six months, right, your work will keep improving and don't worry, okay? Like once you start with 3D, initially you are not going to get that good work. But as you pass on, like as at times you spend more and more time, your work, work will improve, okay? So it takes a little bit of time. So stay there, enjoy, uh, keep learning and keep doing, okay? Keep doing the work. And I hope, um, I wish every one of you a very best, right? I hope you start with Clo 3D or browser. Please start with Clo 3D. <laughs> Please start with Clo 3D, it's easier, okay? And, uh, and, uh, Great. Best of luck and take care. Um, enjoy. Bye-bye.